We were told in America that there was no more money for COVID relief. Primary concern right now is that we're about to run out of funding. Meanwhile, Joe Biden found $700 million for bombs and bullets to go to Ukraine. Now, this proxy war that's being fought against Russia by the U.S. using Ukrainians is doing harm to the world, to diplomatic relations, and to us, the working people of America. Right now, student loan debt is the highest it's ever been. Inflation is at a 40-year high. Fuel prices to fill your gas tank have gone up to $6, $7, $8. Every week is something new. It's beef prices, it's produce, it's avocados, it's takeout containers. Now it's fuel. I don't know how we're going to be able to pay for all this when the time comes. I mean, it's not like we're all getting raises or anything like that to compensate for this kind of craziness. Now, the Biden administration tries to spin this. They try to call it the Putin price hike, which is ridiculous. It has nothing to do with Russia. It has everything to do with the failures of the Biden administration not enacting domestic policies and not helping with funds the American working families. The president's statement blames the Putin price hike. Are you guys just gonna start blaming Putin for everything until the midterms? Well, we've seen the price of gas go up at least 75 cents since President Putin lined up troops on the border of Ukraine. And, and last month, the statement didn't mention the Putin price hike. It mentioned inflation because of the pandemic. Why is that? Food prices have gone up so that food insecurity has gotten worse. And 600,000 people are homeless in the US. But instead of helping these people, American people, the Biden administration has chosen to spend $700 million in Ukraine for bombs and bullets. And you know, I think we're just not having it. Americans have are done with these endless wars. We're done with our domestic infrastructure not being taken care of. We're done with the money that should be going to the American people going to weapons and to these weapon manufacturers and lining their pockets.